Hello guys, welcome back. Today I have an exciting tutorial for you. In this video, I will guide you how to create an all-in-one bootable USB drive, which is incredibly popular among IT enthusiasts and professionals. Some people also refer to it as a multi-bootable USB because it serves multiple purposes and can be a very useful in various scenarios. Let me share a few examples. Suppose you frequently work with different operating systems like Windows 10, Windows 11, or even Linux distributions, or maybe you often encounter system errors, blue screens, or other technical issues that need fixing. A multi-bootable USB drive can help you troubleshoot and resolve these problems quickly. It's like carrying a portable IT toolkit in your pocket. So let's start. And first you need to download a tool called Ventoy. I'll provide the download link in my video description. Visit the website, click on the download button. We will download for Windows operating system. So click on first link and download the latest version. If you are using Ubuntu or other Linux operating system, then you can download for Linux. Click on download latest version button. It will start the downloading. The file size is small, around 17 to 18 megabytes. So it won't take long to download. After downloading the software, Next step is to connect your USB drive to your laptop or computer. Ideally, you should use a drive with at least 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of space, as this allows you to store multiple operating systems and tools. Now extract the Ventoy zip file. Open the folder where you extracted Ventoy. Find the ventoy2disk.exe file and double click on it to launch the application. You will see simple interface of application. In the device section, ensure that your USB drive is selected. Double check to make sure you've chosen the correct drive to avoid overwriting any important data. Next, click on the options button and enable secure boot support. This ensures compatibility with systems that require secure boot. Finally, Click on the install button. It will ask that your USB will be formats. So confirm click yes. It will start the installation and wait for the process to complete. It will take some time. Once done, your USB drive will be transformed into a multi-bootable device with Ventoy installed. Now that Ventoy is installed, the next step is to add the operating systems and tools you need. Go to folder where you have copies of ISO files. I have three different operating system, Ubuntu, Windows 10, and Windows 11. So I can install these three different operating system from a single USB drive. Simply copy these ISO files and paste them directly onto your USB drive. There's no need to extract or modify the files. Ventoy will handle everything for you. Once you've pasted the ISO files in your USB, it's time to test your multi-bootable USB drive. Now restart your computer and go to your computer BIOS or boot menu option by pressing escape or F12 button. In boot menu option, select the USB drive and press enter. When the system restarts, you'll see the Ventoy boot menu. All the ISO files you added will be listed here. For example, if you select Ubuntu operating system, the installation process for Ubuntu will begin. Next, select boot in normal mode to proceed for installation. Similarly, you can boot into any other ISO file you've added like Windows 10 or Windows 11. Ventoy isn't just for installations, it's also an excellent tool for troubleshooting. For example, you can use it to run live operating systems for data recovery, password resets, or fixing blue screen errors. Tools like Hiron's Boot CD, which is compatible with Ventoy, can further enhance your troubleshooting capabilities. And this complete guide to creating a multi-bootable USB drive using Ventoy. This drive can save you a lot of time and effort, whether you're an IT professional or someone who likes to be prepared for unexpected technical issues. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.